Welcome back to Donuts in Space and part six of the HMS Kent build. Made quite a bit of progress on the kit now, to be fair. Um, as there's no real photo etch that I have anyway that needs to go on the superstructures for, for, for the most part, I've actually got those now glued down to the kit or to the, uh, to the, to the hull of the sh ship. So they're all in now. Uh, all of the wires are underneath, so I just need to get those sorted out. I'm just basically going to uh, test those with my little uh, handy dandy rechargeable 9 volt battery to ensure that I've got the right, right resistors on these because I don't want to use a power supply for this kit. So the kit's looking quite good. Um, the main mast at the front is also on as far as up to the photo etch point really to be fair let's get that in camera so that's uh, to the photo etch point now so I won't bother taking that any further until such time that this uh, kit is in the base and as you can see there we've got the little boats in and they've got their little black covers over them that was just done with tin foil uh, super glued onto the boat uh, and then painted black and then the edges cut around really uh, and then it's just the same on the other side as well but she's not looking too bad actually to be fair quite happy with the progress on this uh, wee beastie she's looking quite good still a bit of work to do i got some weathering to do on the top deck and some uh, weathering on the main mast for it as well and there's um, a couple of little bits further that still need to be added up here um, but apart from that it's looking quite good one of the bits on that side have fallen off because they are a pain in the bum they only hold on by a little bit and you, you so much as touch them and they fall off so I need to put that back on so I won't bother putting that back on until it's in the stand oh sorry on the, on the base I've also got the uh, cover built for this as well now so that's all done uh, this is basically the same perspex that I used for the uh, daring build and used exactly the same glue to put this together so it's that um, tensile 12 which is basically an acrylic uh, glue which is quite smelly but that's done I've left the packaging on the outside of the uh, case because I don't want that getting damaged or scratched or anything it's been removed from the inside not that you can actually tell from that shot really to be fair because of the outside packaging uh, but i just didn't want the the outside getting scratched or damaged so i just thought well i'll leave that on whilst we're still playing the other thing that we've got done uh, is the base well almost done to be fair uh, is together in one piece and we're just waiting for some bits to dry before we move on let me just get those cans out of the way. I was using cans to actually hold one end down because it was a little bit uh, a little bit warped. But that's that's what the base is looking like. As you can see, we've still got the stuff uh, going around the whole of it. There's a couple of little areas that I will need to um, redo on that, to be fair. Because it's uh, sunk in of quite a bit there. So... But uh, that's really no problem, to be fair, if I'm to be honest. I, you know, you kind of think that these things are going to need to be done again. The other thing that I've done as well is I've actually got some of these for super glue uh, for the photo etch. Because, uh, well, these are really, really thin. I mean, I don't know whether you can see how thin they are. Uh, but they, they, they're formulated for super glue. Uh, the reason why I've got these is because the, the nibs on the top there are so thin that you can actually control the super glue uh, with these. Whereas before I was basically just putting some of the super glue on a little piece of wasted styrene or cardboard or whatever and then using a cocktail stick to then put that onto the photo etch part. Um, it, it just got to the point where it was getting silly uh, especially with the parts of photo etch where you got to kind of interlock two parts together because you need to get those together before you can super glue them because if you try and 
super glue one part and then slide the other part over it just kind of grabs it straight away and then locks it in place uh, which gets really really frustrating so I thought I'd buy some of these to give it um, a, a, a go uh, and the, the end on those is really really thin so hopefully I should be able to control it because the, the, the problem is with these kind of parts that we're dealing with you need um, the super glue to be really really thin so you can um, get the capillary reaction on it so you can just squidge it on one spot and then it just sort of uh, runs down the rest of the, 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 the piece um, uh, which, which you can't really do with a cocktail stick to be fair well I, you can but on bigger parts some of these these parts that I'm dealing with are really 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 tiny so you know you need something really really tiny to, to be able to get in there to put the glue in and a cocktail stick just isn't um, thin enough to be fair to do that so yeah not really a great deal left um, for me to do on this ship now to be fair uh, apart from getting it into the base and uh, getting the resin poured in which I should hopefully be doing reasonably soon um, because I, I'd, I'd like to get that done because I know the last one I mean, it took oh, on the daring I think it took it took three days to, to actually cure properly to the point where I could actually start using it so I need to get this in the base and get the resin set uh, before I carry on because it's getting to the point now there's a, a few little bits and pieces that I can do but most of it to be fair is going to be photo etch and getting the decks in etc so I kind of really need to get this into the base before I start doing the photo etch because again you know I just rather get the photo etch in once this is in and then I can just concentrate on doing the seascape around it once uh, all of that's been built up now, that's where we are at the moment um, so I'm going to leave it here guys and I will come back to you in part 7 uh, with hopefully uh, some more progress on this wee beastie of mine